Hello everyone. Welcome back to our software work ERP next knowledge sharing video. Today in this video, we will be learning as how to create the chart of accounts in the ERP next or how to do the data import through chart of accounts data importer tool available in ERP next out of the box. As you know, the chart of accounts is a blueprint of the accounts in your organization. For each company, chart of accounts signifies the way to classify the accounting interest. ERPNX sets up a default chart of accounts for each company as you create, but you can modify it as per your own needs and the legal requirement. So let's now drive directly into the product and we'll see as how ERPNX helps up to create the chart of accounts or to do the data import through the chart of accounts importer tool. So once you log in into the ERPNX, it, you will be directly navigated into the home page section. Now to go through the chart of accounts option you can just directly go from the awesome toolbar or from the global search toolbar and just type there the chart of accounts data importer tool so you can see here once you do from the chart of accounts data importer tool you will get the company for which you want to do the chart of accounts creation or you want to update the existing chart of accounts so you have to just select the company if you want the sample of the template yes then you have an option whether to want the template in excel or csv and also you have, will be getting an option whether you want a sample template with some samples of the accounting ledgers and group in it or you want a blank template so once you do a sample template automatically it will just prefilled with the accounting ledgers and the groups with some of the accounting ledgers and the groups and in that you can just make the necessary changes so let's say if uh, once you do this template download it you will get in this particular format where you will be getting some of the accounting groups and the ledgers prefilled in this excel template now with this excel templates erp next will the erp next data importer tool of chart of accounts will overwrite the existing chart of accounts tool which is prevailing in right now or presently in the system here so if you want to see here the existing chart of accounts let's say which has been prevailing here you can get it from the chart of accounts screen here which you can see here if you expand all which will show you the existing chart of accounts setup here as you know while creating the company erp next creates or takes the standard chart of accounts and creates the company here now let's say suppose if you want to do the complete chart of accounts overhauling or if you want to do a complete restructuring of the chart of accounts so we can use this particular template that is chart of accounts importer tool now with this the sum of the accounting groups and the ledgers will already be prefilled and suppose let's say we don't want to change a complete structure and we want to add as per our own uh, uh, let's say accounting ledgers and groups so we can add here so let's say i just go to the bank accounts i can just insert here and i want to create a ledgers here so let's say i just put a kotak mandra bank here and then i will just create, select a bank accounts i need to select a parent account here we need a ledger name let's say i'm putting an accounting ledger then the parent account that is a group at which where you want here and let's say i want the accounting number or account number of that particular uh, this bank account so i can put an account number here and whether you want as a group or a ledger so if you want a group you can just select one but if you want as a ledger then you have to select as a zero here and then it should be under the account type as bank okay and this also is a type of an asset so we need to define at the template as what is the parent account we need to define as the group the account type or the predefined which are there in the system itself and the root types are which are divided into four asset liability equity and expenses and assets so all such things you have to define at the template here so let's say right now i have entered one kotak manner bank similarly i can do here let's say i want to add some expenses here so i can enter an expenses here for example let's say i want to enter a salary or let's say i want to enter a pf related expenses so if I just relate the PF related expenses now under which group or under which let's say the accounting group you require to enter this particular ledger. So you can just select here let's say it is under the indirect expenses. So same thing like indirect expenses I just select here. I want this under the indirect expenses so I can just put indirect expenses and then I can put here as a ledger zero and then I can select here expense account and this is nothing but my let's say it's expense so in this way you need to select the account name the group or the parent account 
where you want to group this the ledger zero or one to indicate whether it is a group of a ledger and account type whether it is expense or in or bank or cash if you see in the chart of accounts already they are the predefined account type and you need to select from this only so you need to select from this only let's say either it is accumulated depreciation or cost of goods sold so from here only you need to select and if it is not available then you can keep it blank also and similarly you can see here there is an uh, root type which is given here and the root type is already been there like asset liability expenses and then you have equity so in this way you have to define here now let's save this and then we can go to our data importer tool here so let's say chart of accounts importer tool we just go here and with the chart of accounts we will select the company and attach the template here so let's say we are attaching a template i just have a template in my download template here i just open it and upload the same once i upload the same if any error will come it will throw the error otherwise it will show there is no error here and then it also will show you the chart preview of the existing chart of accounts or the chart of accounts which have been updated in the excel template so you will get the preview as how it is showing uh, through your excel sheet and once you find okay you have to just put it as an import and once you do the import it will show as import successful now let's see here whether the chart of accounts which we have created or which we have updated in the excel sheet has fetch into the system or what so let's see if i go to the open chart of accounts and if i expand all you can see here yes the chart of accounts has been got created you can see my bank has got created that is kotak mandra bank and the other expenses which i have created that is pf related expenses has also been created under the indirect expenses group so in this way you can use the chart of accounts importer tool which will override the existing chart of accounts and will help you to do the uh, to create the chart of accounts as per your own needs and the legal requirement so if you see here the chart of accounts in erp next helps in the various way to classify the financial transaction into various categories such as asset liability equity income and expenses with a very defined chart of accounts you can get the accurate financial reports including balance sheet income statement and cash flow and definitely this report will provide the insights into the financial health of the organization and facilitate the decision making process here so for any queries you can just contact at the given uh, numbers in the presentation here and definitely overall the chart of accounts in erp next helps a wider role in maintaining the financial discipline ensuring the accurate reporting and providing the valuable insights for the effective financial management so for any assistance you can also contact us or schedule a consultation please reach out at this below number which has been mentioned in the presentation so thank you for your watching and please subscribe more thank you